episode two. Let's do this. Spoiler alert, there's another episode. <laughs> I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your uh, This game series adapts the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Awesome. Corey, after today's stream, when are you going to continue The Walking Dead? I will be streaming this, and every time I stream this, I will tell you guys about it. Not gonna play it on the YouTube channel, just gonna be streaming this exclusively. So make sure you follow a brother's Twitch just so you know when I'm about to play. Three months later, this sucker's about to get snuffed. What'd they get this time? Hey, what's going on, bruh? Looks like a rabbit. What's his name? Well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. A yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Good night, Rosie. Oh, crap! That much, I mean. Oh, I missed my decision looking at the Don't chat. Know. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor room. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Uh, Kenny won't abandon us. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. No, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's freaking racist. Doesn't like black people. Ooh, I should have picked this too. I have no idea. Who knows what Larry's problem is? Maybe that's just the way he is. But that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker. But the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. Yeah, he freaking know, punched me in my face. Stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Yeah. Uh, Knock me flat. Like a pancake, though. Hey, what's going on, New York 2000? Headshot. Don't risk the noise. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. When birds are not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on.
Run! Run! We're not gonna hurt you. A bear trap out here. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the f up. Please, up. we've gotta help you. Please, Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We'll try. We gotta get him out of there. Oh god, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Yeah, man, shut your big mouth so the zombies won't hear you. There's no release latch. Cut his leg off. We gotta amputate it. Oh no. Oh wait. Now or never leave. Please get me out of Cut his leg! Get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Chop it. There has to be a way out of this. Please, Please do something. Get me out of this. Oh God, he can't die. That ain't that ain't Did gonna you work. Get it open. Try to cut Hurry. the chain. Uh, you have to get him out. You have to. Cut his. Bad. Really bad. Just get me out. Please. Let's I'm go. So Let's go. Going. We're gonna be surrounded anyway. Cut the leg. Oh. Try something. Dang! It has to be now. Go. I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again. Anything, please. Nope. Leg is mine. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. See the game. That's a trap. They want you to try to cut the chain. It would never work. Cut that leg off. You'll be all right. Just rub some, just rub some bacon on it. He passed out. Come on, just pick him up. Let's go. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! What the freak are you doing? You're dead. Bye. No one cares about you anymore. All you had to do was walk away. No! Goodbye. Goodbye. These freaking idiots. I don't understand why. Why was he separated? <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs> special forces, huh? Exactly, exactly, XE Dog. His dad was special forces. His dad should have taught him how to freaking walk. Dang. Come on, stop doing that, please. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! Oh my god! 
What happened? Oh, God. What's going on? Hey, so have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a f What? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helped. Oops. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was You're happy not to the leader. eating the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a go- It doesn't matter who's in charge. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Come on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Why can't I be the leader? That's what I would have said. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Yeah, how about we donate your rations to the group, sucker? We have four items for ten people? Dang! Well, guess who ain't getting none? Where, where's my uh, Clemmy Clem Clemshin? You get the first ration, then Kenny, and then <laughs> I don't have enough. But I know who getting the first one. That's for dang sure. Where's she at? Clemmy Clem, come here, baby. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I'd do anything I had it for a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've gotta take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. <laughs> let Larry starve. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give food to Clementine. Here, Clemmy Clem. Here, Clemshin. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh, give her half an apple, piece of jerky, crackers, and cheese. Um, I'll give her the meatiest thing. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I don't got no... If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we not get some food? Alright, kids eat first. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? He get the worst food item. Crackers and cheese. Apple. <sighs> Both of these things are good. But I hope that freaking apple has some worms in it. Oh heck yes. Is there peanut butter? You what ungrateful you piece of garbage. No. Give me that apple back. Alright. 
We got two pieces of food. I'm gonna eat both of them. <laughs> okay, no. Where, where are we freaking? I could give her food. Oh, jeez, come on. I could give Kenny food. Dang, sure ain't giving Ben no food. Who the freak is Ben? Uh, we could give food to Katja. Uh, dang, sure ain't giving no food to Larry either. Will you hold the board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got sixty cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, and quit being such a pansy. Larry, why don't you go take a permanent nap? Dang. Alright, we give food to the children, and then we give food to the women, so none of those two getting it. I guess this is a woman. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. What is it? I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Okay. I, I tried to give her food, it didn't work. So let's let's uh, give it to Kacha. Kacha! Kacha. Here, eat something. <sighs> why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But Lee, this man has no leg. Uh, I did the right thing. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. So she didn't take food either? Alright. So I got... I still got two pieces. Hey, man, we got all this soup right here. What the freak? Uh... Where's Kenny? I guess since we hit... We hit all my favorite people, we hit the women. Not in that way. Let's try to give some to my boy Kenny. What's going on, my brother? Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. The others noticed you fed Kenny. Well, I tried to feed them too. Don't try and play that junk. Keep the last for myself. <laughs> Scumbag move. Hanks, no. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Come on, now. What I look like saving the last piece for myself. That is a trap. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Shut your... Can I throw the cheese at her? Hey, nobody even noticed you up there. Take this junk. I don't want anything from you. What? Take it anyway. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Uh, yeah, you gonna be scarfing down them crackers, though. Don't no, change nothing but it. your hunger. Not such an easy job, is it? Hey, hey, man. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. Uh, Sucker, remember when you punched me in my face? Like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ah, <sighs> this freaking swine.
This sucker don't remember when he socked me last summer. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. They're gonna come asking me for some food. You know what, Larry? Let's hash it out. What you want, man? <sighs> Sorry, there's no food left. Sorry, Larry. There's nothing left. Go piss up a flagpole, Lee. I can't do that. Gravity, sucker. Uh, Lily wants to ditch the new people. Lily and Kenny need to get along. Yeah. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Mm-hmm. Of course you would be. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Yeah, like you. Why don't you freaking you hit the road? The nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Okay, can I give it to... Why would I freaking give it to Larry? What'd I freaking look like? Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. Can yeah, because you're racist. Come here, of course I know why. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God. <gasps> he died? I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... <sighs> Let him go, Kaja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? What the freak? Q, 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 Q. Oh, where my head at? Where's my head? Where's my head? <laughs> Where's my head? Get him! Oh, Mark, come on. Get him! Use S. Yes, back up. Mark, what are you freaking doing? Oh, now so guys, sucker. It's like 15 other people here. No one else gonna help. Dang. You okay? Yeah. Thanks, Larry. Why'd you bring him here in the first place? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back oh. off! Who the freak are they? Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? 
We got plenty at the dairy. Oh, we need some food. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? All of us looking like ghouls. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Um, all right, we'll go to the dairy. They got food. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. You decided everyone should Sounds go? fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Mm. Me as leader? You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Uh, Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Oh, those freaking dudes are evil. The motor ends my new home. The motor ends my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Um. Uh... Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her But she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Too many questions. Change the subject. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. But we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Get down. What? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always... Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? they are. You guys will keep it all there's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. You. Oh! 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 Anger management, bruh. We just wasted like four bullets. Come on, let's get to the dairy. We could have killed four zombies with those. Hey, that dude had a crossbow or something. Should have freaking raided him. <laughs> he got wrecked. Yes, yes. Sorry, but I'm not a fan. He got wrecked. There it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Any ever any accidents? Ever have any accidents? Nah, 
It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Um, We work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Hey, man, it don't matter what I tell you. Does it offer, does that offer, we brought, we're awfully hungry? We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Bake fresh this morning. Yeah, give me the biscuits. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. Hey, we can help you folks shut out. up, man. A vet? Don't tell oh, them uh, stuff. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Dog, shut Mark up. Go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Okay, give me the yourself. gat then. She got See the rifle while. and the gat? Now what we got? Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make sure the place is safe. We should do whatever we can to help out. Nah, we don't know these people. I got a feeling they're freaking running like some freaking just big show to lure people in, then kill them and eat them. They're probably cannibals. So let's just make sure the place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but... Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Stop spoil- who's spoiling? Please, people who have seen this, do not spoil it for us. That will result in a ban, please, don't do it. Don't do it, it's not worth it. Let's just go through all this together. Just act like this is all new for all of us. It's all okay. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Okay. I can't pick it up, put it in my pocket. Well, but they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Alright, let's go. Bye, Sonic and Tails HD. Tell the UK I said cheerio. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, how long has it been? When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. I don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. 
I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Alright. Uh... I'm gonna need some rope. But that board I found is too long. Well, there's a saw right next to it. We can, we can chop that up because I got my axe. But I thought we were supposed to be look making sure the place is safe. Now, I guess they want me to build a build a new swing. What's this? This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single story house. Is that right? After us kids was Bye, born, Jeff the he Killer. insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Mm-hmm. Freaking running a cannibal ring. Take care of us. AKA put you in my stew and cook you and eat you. This rope is perfect for the swing. Alright. Uh we can go in the front door, but I wanna check out everything on the mm, porch first. Fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Uh, this place looks amazing. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. When will dinner be ready? When will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. <laughs> she sounds like she cooks with nine pounds of butter. <laughs> I know at the Space Jam. All right, let's go. Uh, how many rooms? How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Just curious. Oh, uh, well, just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home cooked meal. Today. Oh, you hiding bodies, woman? I can help with. Feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Paula Dean. All right, let's go. We got a rope now. Everybody funny acting up in this sucker. Ain't nobody trying to think of me moving in. I'm just asking how many rooms are in this place. Nice observation, Lee. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. No, just making a swing so I can, you know. All right, just put that board in my pocket. Nice. Got some pretty deep pockets. All right, let's fix this sucker. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, be Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness, did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. 
You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's go. Alright, I repaired this junk. Mark, what you got to say? I gotta tell you, don't be telling so people our business. Out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Oh, I, I, okay, I still need to look. What's that? Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Alright. I respect that, bruh. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Dude. <laughs> No one with us. We can help protect it. How many weapons do you have? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Uh, the fence stops the walkers? An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers. By Joy Ribbon. Is that what you call them? That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of sizzling pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know? Like us. Uh, let's go fix the perimeter. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. We used to sit back and watch dead people explode. Yeah. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if we weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? Dang! Uh, we'll work it out somehow. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. That guy has an arrow. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Okay. Who do you think he was? Um, maybe a farmhand? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Let's do it. Push him off. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Um, fortress needs people to defend it. The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Mm, we can't take... We take no, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. 
I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Okay, let's get her off. You guys are freaking weird. Corey Plier, for real? Come on. Come on! <laughs> Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Uh, we'll go ask for more. Gee, focus on the task. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Mm, okay. Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Holy What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! Get to the gate! Idea. Now what? Put the fence on that gate is our only way out. No, nope, no, nope. move your head. Don't get freaking no scoped. Mark, help me push this. Oh yeah, there we go. Hurry up, for you get no scoped. Oh, that was close. All right, let's go. We just lifted something. Oh, come on. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing, dude. Oh, yeah, get that out of the way. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this spit and back to the house. Yeah, these suckers ain't gonna kill me because my name is Cory Kenshin. Oh yeah. Oh! Dang, it's like I almost got 360 no scoped. Oh. What happened? It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. Alright, let's do it. Nice. What I wanna know is. Where'd they get all these arrows from? Another one? How many of those things have you pushed down? Come on. Oh shoot! Mark, Mark, help me! Mark! I gotta do everything by myself though. Mark is just standing there. Q, 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 Oh. Lee is like, dang. You okay? Yeah. Oh, Come on. It's right there. oh shoot. Oh shoot. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, nice shot, Brad. Run. We ain't going nowhere. Hey guys, uh, we need some backup. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, it was ambush. The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy! 
Are you okay? I heard Mark. Yes. I have a freaking I arrow in my back. Clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh my God! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna? We be see okay? that, Lee. Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. It out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of sh is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It is in the same here as we thought. It was a fluke. So much for your. Oh! Oh! I, I clicked out of the window, but this is great timing. I don't know what I should pick. It isn't as safe here as we thought. It was a fluke. It's too much for you. What does that say? Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of get away with this. You know where these are? They're hard to pin down. All right, I think I these think brothers are good guys now. Of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan. These are nice things. people. You guys Such a try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my yeah, That's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my tree house. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. <laughs> that gate is wide open, I know. Larry, get slapped, please. That's what I'm saying, man. The freak. Alright, what are we doing? You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Mm. Alright, let's open this up. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. For sure. <laughs> Break yourself, Larry. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Can we please push Larry into the fence? Thank you, Lucky Mill Tank. Tired of that sucker talking. But then got the nerve to say, oh, these are nice people. Are you, are, are you serious? Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Hey, it's going on. My favorite two people in the game. Lee, oh my God. I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny haven't made up. How do you feel about leaving the motor about your dad? Uh, okay. Uh, take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Uh, click off the screen. Okay, 
Okay, okay, okay, okay. It's the only thing I can do. You're a good leader. Can you believe there's still hope? I don't know. Can you believe there's still hope? See, some of these options, I just don't understand. Like, she said that she, you, you still really, you think I'm a good leader, don't you, Lee? And then, why would I say Kenny believes there's still hope? I don't understand that. I don't understand that. And then look at freaking, look at freaking, um, what's his name? Larry, freaking possessed. This dude doesn't have any irises. He just, he just has all white eyeballs. I guess... I guess I could say she's a good leader. I mean, I don't know if this will cause problems with with uh, Kenny later, but I, I hope not because I'm not backing her over Kenny. You're a good leader, though. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Don't freaking shake your head, all right? Dang, that's what's the problem with people. They don't give people a chance, man. Hey. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. And we would all starve to death. People, why don't you understand? We have pros and cons to everything. We were running out of food. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of... Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So he's that, but... So does he treat you like that? How you put him in? Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just, he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. Dang gay king. So keep him in check then. Gonna how are you gonna Think These freaking people, man. I hate both of them too. A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Just waiting Let's for just that second to call me the N word. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our... Go jump in a hole, Larry. Alright, let's go. I'm tired of them two. Both of them two, man. I tried to freaking help this girl out. I gave her some food. I freaking... But she's still trying to come at me. Instead of keeping her dad in check. Dang. In that second, he gonna turn the generator on when I was over there. We. All right. Um. I don't even know what my task is right now. Wait, who's swinging? Oh, duck. Freaking let Clementine get a- Kenny! Alright, I know he's your son, but I built this for Clemmy Clem Clemshin. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? Move, All Kenny. Alright, duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Oh, Duck was looking a little sore about that. How you doing? How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. 
Is Mark going to be okay? You're lucky out there. It'd have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. We're safe here. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Freaking Duck. They look happy. All right. I got my conversation with, uh... Clemson going. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No, sh you saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But all right, Rudolph. The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the f are these people in the woods? Oh, dang. I don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Lego. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Bye, Clemmy Clem. I'll be back. All right. Do this. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. <laughs> here. Oh, shit. You found it? You found it? Sneak up on the camp. Let's go. Shoot anything that moves. I got you. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Stay on your guard. I said stay on your guard. Exactly. I'm gonna check out the tent. Oh, okay. I thought he was just walking around with his gun lower. On your guard, man. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. Didn't look behind the That's tent. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some sh around here they stole from us. A 360 no scope. Just water. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently, nothing but fuels. All 
Come on, they ain't leave nothing. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Um not unless you need empty cans. Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Cross the line. Uh oh, what was that? They gotta tell us something. Oh, you see how he turned? Oh, that's some freaking sneaky stuff going on. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Bye, Merritt. Empty. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. No, no. Battery's Don't. dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful. Why would he say on. good that the battery's dead? This guy just lost my trust. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Oh, I'm gonna find a battery for this, and I'm gonna look what's on it. Nothing. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. All right. Yeah, we did that. Yuck! I don't need that. Okay. What now? Dog, if he starts walking up on the tent, it's time to get the gun. Can't grab it? Oh, okay. The hell? Don't leave. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the f happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are, and I know what you He's a rapist. I me. bet you. I bet Steal you. My Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the f are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your dairy guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take what? a can of beans. Why did you get Clementine's hat? You. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? 
You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every person I see. Put the crossbow down. down. I don't want to kill her. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Oh. That is a freaking swine. She was God. gonna get. You murdered that woman! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. She was getting ready to tell them. She said it's, it's safer here than it is there. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. This dude is a... He's a freaking swine, bro. Ah, these characters are so tough to read like I thought after the initial attack on the little area that those those brothers were good nah homie she was getting ready to rat them out and he was like nope can't have that man that was a hell of a ride huh Jesus Denny what you ain't getting soft on Maria not after what they did to your friend you're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. I guess just enough. Sick of them two. Are you like kids? I don't know. Squabbling looks like a lot of tension with y'all, huh? Ah, uh, don't mind. Mm. Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. Dude, you've been working on dinner all day. Your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank yeah, you, you said that yesterday. For me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Alright, let's go. Hey, I got your hat. It's gonna be Thanksgiving up in this joint. For real, Lucas? What's going on, Yuki? Alright. Somebody just said I should go talk to Mark. Where he at? Kenny is the most innocent in Lee. Oh, crap. The chat just freaking jumped like a mug. Danny, I don't trust you at all. I'm not talking to you. Let's go. Into the barn. Jump back like it was a zombie in there. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. 
Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, peace out, Brink. Thanks for coming. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. All right, now we got this cow here. Um, let's uh, cook up some of these burgers. <laughs> no. All right. I'm just saying we could have a little uh, Burger King get back here. All right. Uh, anything in here? What is that? I don't know what the point of this was. Good night, Ben. <laughs> Can the cow sit on duck for real? <laughs> I'm your no neighbor next door for real. Uh, okay, give Clemmer a hat. Okay, let's try that. Oh, I can. Here, Clementine. Hey, Clemson. Here you go. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? Um, I'd like to someday. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Peace out, Shadow, thousand six. It's not a hat, it's a samurai helmet. You're right. You're right, Dark JDO. You're totally right. Did they get here? What what am I looking? Oh crap, what am I looking at these stalls for? Let's open this. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just f a chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Uh, look at the screw. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well... Because I'm black. You know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Yeah. Hmm. Better not be racist. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? You want to tell us what's behind this lock? Uh, just checking out the barn. Just checking out the barn here. 
Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't f around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Alright. He's, uh... He's busy. Open the lock. Distract Andy to get him out of the barn. Alright. Okay. Let's go back. Hello? Hey, uh, Andy. How about I tell you a joke? Hey, Kenny. Well, I tell him this joke. Make sure you open that lock, okay? Hey, Andy, so, um... Yeah, why the chicken cross the road? Kenny! Kenny, what are you doing? Open the lock! I got him distracted. Anyway, Andy, why, why, the, uh, why the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side! <laughs> Kenny! You freaking... Alright, we're gonna find a different way to do this. Freaking Kenny, you let me down, Kenny! So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Alright. Looks like Larry got himself a crush. Yeah, freaking keep him busy. I'm tired of him. <laughs> Rest in peace, comedy. Thanks, guys! I thought it was the best joke of all time. Look at the generator. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Ooh, I'm gonna be a bad boy. Power switch. Press that junk, sucker. Access panel. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Ah, uh, where do I get a screwdriver? This thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the brain. <laughs> it's that crap. Alright, so we need a screwdriver. We're gonna freaking mangle that junk. And then when he runs out here to come fix it, he's gonna be like, oh crap. Get multi multi two from where the wood is, Corey. Okay. Let's do that. Thank you. Who said that? Who said that? Sorry, but I'm not a fan. Okay, let's let's try that. Where the wood is? Ah, toolbox. Okay. Ooh. A multi tool. That should be handy. A multi tool. That should be handy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. All right. There you go. Second. Moving fast. Oh, my bad. Maybe that was common sense. Ow. The thing is moving fast. Oh, maybe I should turn it off. That's common sense too. <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bare hands. Hurry up for that freaking dude comes out of here. Yeah, that should do. know how does he freaking know that the thing keeps getting shut off all the way from in there all right 
let's go. Alright, he's distracted. Let's go, Kenny. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Oh, that's a dinner bell. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. I'm, I'm trying. All right, let's do this. Screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Okay. The suspense. What? What is this? I told you they were cannibals. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. What is this? What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Oh, come on. I want to ask him more about it. Oh, no. He's freaking lying. Oh, <laughs> Brenda. Biscuits? You wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Let me see Mark, now. I if I wash my hands first. Bathroom's right outside freaking, in the hall. You need and to freaking get under your before. nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all. They're making an excuse for everything. Oh, we had to black off the back door. Oh, uh, don't worry about Mark. Um, he, he's okay. I'm tired of all these excuses, man. Freak is going on here. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Who is that? Come on, baby. Come on. We need to find Mark. Hurry up. It's about to be a freaking shootout in this house. I'm going to just yell down the stairs. Cannibals! Musty as hell. Candles. Smart. Who do they need so much morphine for? I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Huh, where is that cord going? What the hell? It's a light. Something is in there. It's a false panel. Push it out. Alright, let's go. I turned the light on at least.
Uh-huh. Move this bookshelf out the way. I've played many RPG horrors. I know freaking false bookshelves. <laughs> Duck said, let's eat like five nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Alright, come on. What's behind this door? Who is that? Is that Mark? Lee. What Mark. the What the hell happened? Uh, brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. I told you that he was cannibals! I told you! Clementine. Go, go! Go! Just yell! I don't understand, just yell! Don't eat! Don't eat that! Huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, yeah Lee. Eat up, Larry, he, eat up. He just had a start. He could use some gu manners. You're eating human meat! It didn't have to be this way. You're eating human meat! That's crazy! What the hell? Ridiculous. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Just put their hands out. Put their hands out. If their hands are shaking. That. Go upstairs! Go upstairs. Cannibals' hands the shake. With both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. Exactly. They got a lot of meat for dairy. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down. Honey. People eating people ain't right. In rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now Prepare to got die. monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. All sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Mark wasn't gonna oh. die. He just had an arrow. Clippy, run! 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 Nobody's going anywhere. Oh, shoot. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? What? Put what? your guns down. We're walking you out of here. Near my family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? Yeah! You mother... I'll kill you. You better let her go if you know what's good for you, boy. Who the freak was that? Oh, that's Mark. Mark bled out and he's dead. Y'all yeah, believe now? Oh, come on! He getting knocked out, man. Open the door. You can't keep us in here. <coughs> Open up. I will tear you up with that, my bare hands. We gotta find another way out of here. Of course, I get knocked out. Then Yo, the whole group yeah. get locked. Bastards. Open this door, God. I will knock the Please. God door Stop. down. It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, God. If you hadn't dragged your feet. Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a meat locker. We gotta get the out of here. This dumb sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the up? I'm scared. Don't Our group has no chemistry okay. whatsoever. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Yo, yo, where's the 
Oh, what you doing now, Lily? You're the you're our leader. Quote unquote. Shut your freaking vomiting self up. I got this under control. Behind these pallets. No such luck. Come on, try yourself. Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. There's more of us on the way. Let us out now. If you wanna live, uh, not gonna don't help. I don't know what kind. From the beginning, I've been saying these people are cannibals. Nobody freaking listen to good old Lee. Pretty heavy. Think we could heave it through the door? Nah, door's too solid. We need to look for something. I'll break that door down. Dad, you can't get. Easy. Oh dang! No, Dad. Man, she smacked on. him. Dad! Oh God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me! If he's dead, he's not dead. What has to happen? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel. How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. You, we can bring him back, Lee. We'll mourn him later, but right now we no, have to no. keep him from coming no, back. No, 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 no. Killing him before He's we know. Dead. We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. We got bricks in here. Back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. Exactly. It's different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on. We know this guy's not going to make it. Remember what Ben said. Got to destroy the brain. Kenny. Come Kenny. On, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You got to have my back this time. No. God, Kenny. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake oh, up. I got it. Come, Come on, on, Kitty. You're right, Kitty. Let's get this you over. Monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see. I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! no. Get off me! Don't do this! Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. This is freaking messed up, man. We just freaking murdered him. God help us. I don't I don't feel good about this victory, Samurai. I don't you touch me. Oh, what was that at the end? Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. We couldn't take that chance. You understand why we had to do this, Clementine. So we won't turn into one of those monsters? That's right. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Uh, getting out of here. Getting out of here. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. <sighs> Kenny, I don't like you right now, bro. If this was real life, I don't freaking care if this thing, this man got up. They got all these freaking big old bricks. He's a freaking zombie. He doesn't have a brain. In real life, it wouldn't have went down like that. I'm just saying. If it was me, I'd have been like, no, we waiting. Everybody get in this corner. Soon as he get up, everybody freaking just start smashing him. That 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 wasn't that wasn't nice, man. 
I didn't want Larry to go out like this. Get away. I just need to. I told you to get the f away. Shut up. First, freaking somebody smack you. There ought to be an air duct behind this. They don't want to keep him in check. It's your fault. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm -mm. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. <gasps> hey, hey, um... Larry said he had 60 cent in his pocket, so we gotta loot his corpse real quick. Get away. Come on! He got some coins! Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. We gotta loot his corpse. I'm sorry, man. It's not coming off that way. We gotta loot your... We gotta loot your dad. Now, we're gonna have to do this the easy way of the hard way. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't talk to me. They would want you to move on. I know you hate Kenny. You gotta pull yourself together. Hold on. I need to think about this one. <laughs> you, you've got to pull yourself together. Larry would want you to move on. I know you hate Kenny. Larry would want you to move on. Okay, let's let's go with that one. Larry would have wanted you. You think he wanted this? Of course not. You but... don't know what he wanted. You never knew him. You never gave him a chance. Maybe not. Maybe maybe I should have tried hard. But I know he loved you. He wants you to get out of here. I think I may have found a way out of here. I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver or a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor end, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If you Just give us the coins! The key to getting us out of here. Do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Yes. Your permission. Do what you have to do. Yeah, give me that freaking money. Suck it. No, I'm just playing. I didn't want Larry to go out like this. Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Oh, Lee, don't ask questions. Just. Culture. I wanted Lee. I mean, I wanted. I wanted uh, huh. a. Still carried his wallet. I wanted Larry to get eaten by a zombie. That's what I wanted. I didn't want him to get killed by one of us. A ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Yeah, give me this money. Get my freaking gumball. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. It's not coming off that way. Dang it, I it's clicked the coins. Off that way. Yeah. Yeah, one more should do it. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Mm, it's too far. It's too small. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. 
No, Clemmy Clem Clem Shin, don't do it. You don't have to do this. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> Can okay. he be quiet, man? If this was your son, you wouldn't let him do it. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Don't let him see you. Oh, this is this is too much for my heart right now. Oh, no, please come up. It's her, it's her, it's her, it's her. Yes, okay. did anyone see you? Clemmy, Clem, Clem, she outside. Let me gotta go. Leave me alone. Lee, I can see him. It's not safe in here. For God's sake, Lee, didn't even get to say goodbye. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. A second. Didn't get to say goodbye. You know how many times your dad then freaking punched us in the face? And never stick up for nobody else. I mean, I understand sticking up for your dad, but you had to check him, man. She never did. She never did. I still feel bad about it. Slaughterhouse. All right, we gotta hurry up. Yeah, Lee is like, yeah, I got something for them. Ugh. I think I'm gonna be sick. God, what's wrong with these people? Yeah, suckers finna get zapped. Oh, what? I can't take two of them. Oh, sickle. That's my weapon right there. Let's go. Maybe I shouldn't have sickle in time through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. All right, got my sickle. So what's the plan? That dog is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Not yet. Not yet. You know what? Hurry up. We only got one shot at this. I'm really thinking about taking this cattle prod because it'll stun him. It'll stun him. I mean, a sickle will kill him. Okay, yeah, never mind. I mean, <laughs> okay. I hope ready? I hope this this uh yeah, let's go. Hope this is the let's right moves. Let's go. Lee, get down. What are you doing? Waiting for him. What? All right, man. man. What do you want? Whoa! Grab it! 
Come on, get him! Oh my gosh! Sickle! Oh my face! Kenny! Oh! My brother, Kenny! Bear trap! Oh, you done, bruh? Oh, you done? Where's my family? You can't have them. We need the vet. No! Cat! Lee, come on! Just go. I won't be far behind. Well, what am I doing? Oh, let's go. Uh, you see, you understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. Cannibalism? Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? Exactly. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah? Why are you guys saying don't kill him? Alright, alright, fine. This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you! Kenny murder my dad, but you leave this piece of alive? Shut up! Your dad was dead! This guy's not. Oh god, don't hurt him! That's Katja! Oh, Clemmy, don't no. look at me like that. Please, keep her safe. My brother, why no kill? Everybody was saying don't kill him. Like, everybody would say don't kill him. And I think they said it would make Clementine sad, so. What the freak is that? Oh, it's freaking. Who did that? Oh. Carly. Me? Be careful. Oh. We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. They attacked us. They attacked us. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Is everyone else okay? <laughs> I'm like, dang! In the house, and I don't know where the f he is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. I got my Glock 19. And Lee, be careful. Let's go. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. Oh, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Never bound. I don't wanna hurt y'all. Are we coming, Paula Danny, Dean? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Um, yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's me. Dang, I knew that wasn't gonna work. Come here. Let me go. Run! Why aren't you running? What? What am I doing now? Oh shoot! Please, come on! Please don't you take another step! Brent, come on now! You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. What am I doing?
Oh! Oh! Dang! <laughs> dang! Oh, dang! Okay, um... Alright, gotta take slow steps that you guys, you guys are saying take slow steps. I'm moving real slow. Stop right there, I mean it! It doesn't have to end like this! Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee! Just let me go! Really slow. <gasps> There's a zombie up there! Oh, keep backing up, girl. You'd think she would hear that, but I guess Paula Dean can't hear too well. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! Let her go, Brenda! Let her go, Brenda! Please, let's do it. I'll do it! Please! Come on, take another step back. Take another step. Just one more. Come on. I don't want to kill you, Lee. Why? You freaking killed those other people and ate them. Please don't make this in any worse. Please don't make this any worse. Just stop. Grab her hair, zombie. Oh, come on, this is too intense for me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! Ooh! Ah! This stuck. Where's Teddy? I said don't move! Don't you hurt Oh my god! Hold on, we should have grabbed her gun! What the freak? That ain't gonna happen! Oh. Ah, oh, Kenny! Andy, who the f you people think you are? Look at what you've done! You calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What for? Huh? All we wanted was some gasoline. Ooh, good shot! Oh shoot! Oh. Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q E. Yeah, how you feel, sucker? This what happens to cannibals. Ow. I'm sorry, Lee and Kenny can't fight. Come on, this dude just got shot. Q, 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 I'm pressing Q really fast right now. I don't know if you guys know that. I'll do! Lily, help! Are you serious? No way. No way. Lily just stood there! Lily, I hate you. Goodbye. Hit him with a right! Hit him with a left! Hit him with a right! Hit him with a left! Right! Left! Sucker! Another right! Another left! Lee is going insane! Lee is going insane! Right! Left! Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't It's over! Yo! 
They're not coming. They're not coming. What do you mean? What do you think? What the f do you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Kick Andy. Walk away. Let's go. Not in front of Clemmy Clem. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee. Lee! They're getting in. Oh, the zombies will take care of him. Lee is the leader. Dang. Yeah, that that's like about to get eight. Eat. I bet everybody's still so freaking hungry. Hey Lee, I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people for food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. But? I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This world now, it's hiding just unspeakable every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah, I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Ah. How are you doing? I'll be fine. Just he got popped in his stomach. I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? <laughs> we messed up. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man, me and you. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah, I'd say you earned it. Awesome. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? Uh... Yes, Walker's got him. Yes, Walker's probably got him. They were very bad people, and they were punished for it. Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? What noise? Sounds like a car. Oh god, not more strangers. What is it? Shut the freak up, Duck. Dang, Toasty going hard. Alright, uh... Hmm. <clears throat> Don't shoot, we're here to help. Hello? Come out or I'll shoot. Uh, see, it's just like simple decisions like this. Like, I don't know what I would do. 
I never would call out hello because that's just giving up your position. But I can't remain silent. I have to say something. Uh, don't shoot. We're here to help. Don't shoot. We're here to help. Approach the car slowly. All right, I learned my lesson last time. I'm just going to keep tapping this W key. Hello. Hello. Okay. What is it? Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you got to see this. There's a shit of food and supplies back here. Yes. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Clem has spoken. What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this Clementine. You're right. Always sided with Clementine. You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. I don't want any part of it. We'll survive without it. We've done enough. We'll survive without it, man. We'll survive without it. The hell we will. We'll find a way. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay. What have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? Dang. Let's see if there's any water. Carly, you too? Oh, Ducky, like, who's is it, Dad? Oh, pass me some of them chips. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. No. We don't want your stolen stuff. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. We here. don't you can have some too. No. Walkie-talkie. No. Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Hey, man, don't take the batteries. Oh God, Lee, you're gonna want to see this. Ducky was probably scarfing down that freaking human meat. Like, mmm. What the freak is this? Someone was watching our camp? Rapist monsters. I told you. You need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? Okay. How could she hear that all the way back there? I got kind of thrown off. Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. 
Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much faces. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Bad shot. Doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all the figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! Are I'm we the on one a train? keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person f*** this up for everyone else! Oh, somebody was like, shut up, dang! Oh, dang. Chopped David's leg off. You and 84% chopped his leg off. Shot Jolene. You and 87% had Danny Shooter help kill Larry. You and 31% help kill Larry. Dang. The majority didn't kill Larry. Uh, revenge. Both of the same brothers. You and 8% didn't kill the brothers. Stole food. You and 44% didn't steal. Dang. Dang. That episode two, though. Whoo! Dang, that's pretty freaking intense. All right, guys, finish that episode two. Make my camera big. All right. Oh, that was some freaking awesome stuff, man. Corey, please do episode three. Oh, please, Corey. No, no, no. Like someone said, it's 3 a.m. in the UK or something like that. We got to uh, we got to wait for our UK brethren, brothers and sisters from the UK. So we're going to end it here. I've already passed my six hours. I said I was going to be going from like 4. And I was kind of late. So it was about 6 hours. So looks like this is the end. Uh, of the live stream for charity. You guys made it so freaking awesome as usual. Um, the Walking Dead though. That hype. That hype. Um, thank you all so much for coming. Once again, it's not even about, you know, playing the games and having fun. It's the fact that we came together under a common goal of raising money for people that need it. Raising money for people that uh, don't have water, basically. So, I want to thank you, Samurai, for that first. Thank you for coming out and, and telling people about the charity, for donating to the charity, for supporting me, you guys, um, <sighs> make a brother about to cry. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, though. I really, uh, I really. Oh yeah, I should, I should see what we ended with, how much we ended with in the pot. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. Three hundred. My gosh. My goodness. My goodness, you guys, man. Three hundred dollars. I don't. I I can see who donated, but I don't. I don't want to. I want. I don't want to people. Got to get my words. I'm freaking flustered. I don't want people to get their glory from here. The people who donated, you know who you are. And I know who you are. And I want to thank you. I, you know, don't be the kind of person that's like, oh, yeah, I donated 20 bucks. Everyone look at me. No, you know you donated. And, you know, that's what should matter. Thank you, everyone who donated. And thank you everyone for coming I just 
this is what I'm talking about. This is what makes the channel uh, have its worth. Thank you all so much, man. Thank you, everyone. I had so much fun. The Walking Dead is freaking beast. I beat uh, Slender the Arrival. I got all the footage, so it will all be going up on YouTube. Um, probably not tomorrow. Probably Sunday, because um, it usually, as a six-hour video, it takes quite a long time with my upload speed to get to YouTube. So look for this on Sunday. Um, another paranoid paranoic coming at you guys tomorrow and among the sleep I think but um yeah I, I want to thank you so much for helping out and uh yeah until the next live stream guys oh yeah when should we live stream I'll let you guys know when I live stream the third episode of Walking Dead but thank you guys so much you freaking sisters of samurai slice this live stream for charity and I will see you all in the next one until next time, my brothers and sisters. Hearts, hearts, love, everybody. I love you very much. Bye.